A short while ago, University of Virginia student Otto Warmbier was released after being held captive in that country for more than a year. The 22-year-old was sentenced to 15 years hard labor last March after attempting to steal a propaganda banner hanging from a restricted area of his hotel. NBC's Hans Nichols joins us from the White House. And one of the big questions here is Warmbier's condition. What can you tell us about that and about what's well. next? Well, Chris, we know that he is in a medical coma. He is in a full coma. We don't know the severity of that coma, and we're relying on the North Koreans for when he actually entered that coma. They are saying March of last year, and that's what they're telling the parents. The parents have issued a statement. It's a difficult one, but I'm going to go ahead and read it for you when you think of the difficult time they've been through. They are saying, sadly, he is in a coma, and we have been told he has been in that condition, condition since March of 2016. We want the world to know how we and our son have been brutalized and terrorized by the pariah regime in North Korea. Chris, we're learning more here about how these last two weeks in the effort to release Otto Warmbier from North Korea went down. What you basically had is a series of conversations between diplomats, including the Swedes, who do the diplomacy for the Americans in early June. Suddenly, this accelerated. The U.S. side got involved, and it wasn't until June 6th that the U.S. realized the condition that he was in, that Otto Warmberg was in, that he was in a full on coma. Short, a few days later, a team flies to North Korea, including the special representative for North Korea, U.S. diplomat. They demand to see, on the consular rights, see Otto Warmbier, uh, Warmbier, see his medical condition for themselves. They see what is going on there. They immediately demand his, his release on humanitarian grounds, and that release is granted. They fly from North Korea to Sapporo, Japan, and that's when they've taken off from there. They're en route now to Cincinnati. They're basically on an air ambulance. This is a private plane, a private government. It's not a government plane, but it's a private civilian plane. They have medical doctors on the team and on the plane, and they're trying to uh, make sure he stays healthy and get him back home to his parents who are waiting for him. Chris? Hans Nichols, thank you for that. We'll keep folks updated on it throughout the day. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.